Welcome everybody. Today's video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing of the Judge Dredd Miniatures Game by Warlord Games. And this is this starter set. So for those of you that have pre-ordered this, this will be out very, very soon. So let's have a little look. So at the side, we have all the artwork, as you can see featured there, the Greg Staples Dread. Uh, we've got the Street Judge and the Rookie Judge. Uh, the Rookie Judge and the Street Judge, of course, are the ones that you'll get inside the box. On the other side, we have the eight block gangers, uh, a big team of them, of course, to go up against the judges. And underneath the box, we have all the contents of everything that you'll get inside, um, that being the contents list there as well. Uh, cool, so let's get this open. So first off, we're going to look at the scenery and terrain sheet, which is on the thick cardboard with a nice gloss. It also pops out nice and easy. There's a barricade. Uh, we also have the uh, two hover cars, which you can actually get in a physical form in a nice thick uh, resin. Uh, we also have Munt's Burgers, which is a great uh, reference to the comics. But a personal favourite is the person trapped in Boings. Let's pop that one out. Get a closer look at that. And there he is. But the coolest part about this, if you flip it over you will see that we have everything is in like a battle damage equivalent. So the barricades now have bullet holes in them, which I think looks a little bit more like Mega City 1. We also have a different, <laughs> a newer change to the Munts Burgers there. We also have battle damage hover cars, which want fire, smash windows. And then we also have the judge statue in the middle. So next we'll look at the sprues of markers and chips. This one being the gold one, which will represent the judges. And then you also have two blue, which represent the block gangers because there's more of them. So they're on hard plastic, just like the Strontium Dog game that was out originally. So if you played that, you know that obviously the idea is that you can just take these out of the sprue using your modeling knife. Uh, this is kind of what they'll look like out of the sprue. You'll have an action chip here, which has the 2000D logo underneath it. And obviously, if it's not the star chip, it's blank at the top of it. Okay, so let's have a look at the individual markers themselves. So at the top of the sprue, you have the injury markers with the cross, which you use obviously when the character takes an injury. The pinned markers, a lot of the time, is when your character is taking fire. You have the classic action chips when you activate a character, but the most exciting is the star chip that normally used when you have a call of over four. So obviously that's the one to have if you can. The very classic kind of comic book looking, uh, dizzy looking stunned marker. Overwatch, sprint with the foot and the wing. And these numbered ones are used a lot of the time when you want to have bigger units more than one character just to kind of keep an idea of who's who and then you have the death marker just to show who's died so next we're going to look at the dice that come with the game those that have played strontium dog before will recognize these as they are the same dice they are used in the game mechanics as they are identical to strontium dog we've kept the original gameplay so the 2000d logo there uh, all the same symbols, of course. The explosion for hit, special, and armor, or save. So, you also get the D6, which, uh, for example, you might use for such things as sprint. So when you do your normal movement, you roll a D6, and that adds to your sprinting movement length. Now we're gonna look at the character cards, which is gonna be really handy for when you're taking actions. So here's just an average judge. We've got uh, the movement, the hit amount, the fight amount, the evade, defense or armor, uh, and the cool amount. And at the bottom, the star represents uh, more kind of like its cost. This is more kind of used in campaigns 
So if you're army building, this is what you're gonna go by. On the other side of the card, you have the weapons and equipment and special rules. Uh, the good thing about this for reference wise, if you're taking short range or long range attacks, it shows you how much modification is used when uh, rolling dice. So if you're doing a long range attack, it's a minus one dice. If you're doing a short range, of course it's plus one. Uh, we've got the senior street judge. And on the back, all of its special rules and equipment, of course. Uh, you'll find that the better the character, of course, the more hardened or veteran, just like the street judge, you'll have like more uh, special rules and better stats. Uh, the street judge, of course, this one you'll probably use the majority of time with the starter set. Um, Same with the Rookie Judge, of course. And now we bring to the Block Gang. Uh, you've got the Block Gang Lieutenant, which has a very long list of weapons and special rules. Uh, we've decided to put the Block Gangers all on one card. So as usual, the back are special rules and weapons. The idea, of course, you have three different types of block ganger. Uh, they all have a dependent level, basically. So you'll have different stats in different areas, depending on what kind of block ganger you want to use. So now we're going to look at the armory cards, which feature the blueprints of the lawgiver. Now these cards can be used as an action, uh, you don't have to use them, they are just there to add a bit more flavour to the gameplay. A lot of the times you'll find that campaigns have a list or a rundown of which ones you need to use. So uh, they will basically give you an overview of what they do. Uh, it will also have some page rules reference at the bottom, as well as that you'll have how to use them and some artwork in the middle. We have a classic high X. Uh, we also have the little birdie lie detector. Stims, which you use quite a fair bit if your characters are quite injured or stunned. Uh, a respirator to combat against stun gas. Uh, the classic ricochet. Cuffs, of course, for using on perps in Mega City 1. Uh, very handy med pack to remove injury. And of course the classic Boeing, Boeing cutters, which are very well known in the Judge Dredd storyline. Uh, with some amazing artwork, of course, in black and white. We all know that the reason why they've picked that is because it's quite essential to a Judge Death and Judge Anderson storyline. Smoke Bomb. And the Stun Gas as well. The other deck of cards are these big meg cards. Their purpose is to create an event within your gameplay. A lot of the time they are dictated by the campaign list. Uh, they're just there just to add a little bit of flavor to your gameplay, a bit more variety in comparison to your basic rule sets.
So now we're going to look at the miniatures that you get in the box. There are two female block gangers, this being one of them. The other has like a mohawk, uh, both with larger weapons. We have a block ganger with a chain round his hand and a pistol. A very cyberpunk looking block ganger with the mohawk, the goggles, and of course the trench coat. Uh, we have a block ganger taking a snapshot, it seems, with a smaller weapon. Uh, we have one with a knife, which seems to be going into close combat. And another one with a small pistol and a face mask, taking a snapshot. And the last block ganger with a trench jacket and shotgun. And we get to the judges now, so we've got the rookie judge with the lawgiver. And finally, the street judge with lawgiver and nightstick. Now these are going to be in resin. Uh, they're a little bit bigger than our 28 mil. These are going to be roughly around 32 mil. Uh, it depends what character you have. Obviously, characters like Judge Death will be a lot taller. But this is kind of like the average size for the miniatures in the series. Now we come to the all-important part, which is the game rulebook which is by Gav Thorpe, Roger Gerrish and Andy Chambers, the design team who have done an amazing job. It's quite a hefty book in comparison to our Strontium Dog rulebook. This is double the size of it. So we have a nice opening page with Death versus Dread. And to set the scene, we have a full page spread of Mega City 1. And the idea is, is right from the start, you have the core rules which explain everything you need to know to play a game. So you're good to go right from the start. Uh, the next page from that, you've got the markers and what they stand for. And then the character stats and what they mean in a bit more detail. At the back of the book, there will be scenarios. So if you wanna move on from basic rules, you wanna have a bit more of an advanced gameplay, that's where that section will be. Um, this section will have crimes and sentencing. So if you're playing a judge, it's quite an important part. Uh, throughout the book, you will have the character details Bit more in depth about what they mean special rules wise of course we've got a lot of comic panels to add in there as well to build the excitement as well So because of its size, the play mat is quite large, so we're going to take that to the store. So as you can see, it's a full colour cityscape of Mega City 1 with the Megway going through. And uh, this is double-sided, so if you flip it round, you'll have a more in-depth version of Mega City 1, uh, with a few Easter eggs hidden within the map as well. 
So there you have it. That is the Judge Dredd starter set. Uh, you can pre-order that, of course, on warlordgames.com.